Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Yeah. Right, we're in Australia and I'm still working on this piece here. Oops, I'm, <laughs> I sat the bead needle there because I didn't want to unthread it because it took me ages to thread. I didn't even put a knot in it now, caught it. Okay, right, we'll cut that out. I had it sitting here so I could use it. Right, now I've come on here and well, I've got myself a few bits to put on it, okay? I've gone through a few bits what I want to use. Now, um, it's going to be really hot here today in Australia, really hot. Okay, so when you see this, it'll probably be even hotter because it's getting worse, it's going to get worse as the week goes by, so they say. Now, um, I'm thinking about having a bit of a look at fixing that, and I, and I do want to put another gold thing or two on here, you know, because I have that bit and that bit, they're actually gold, they're gold bits, aren't they? they're gold decorations, okay, so I have collected up a few bits, now I've got some leaves and I've got this dragonfly, now I'm definitely going to use the dragonfly, I'm going to have, I'm going to write myself a note, because I want to go and find some more of those. Oh dear, look at this. I've taken the bead, this bead needle here with me. <laughs> it's around the corner one that I was not going to use. Now, a piece of paper. Of course, there's a room full of paper and we can never find a piece of paper. Here we go. I want dragonflies. Dragonflies. And... I have to look for right I just have a little bit of an issue now with me oh, sorry about that now let me see so we're working on this lovely piece now I have the leaves which I have two sorts I have those ones they're gold of course or gold sort of looking stuff and then I have these ones that are open and I think that I like those better the open ones I've got some, well, I was going to have the dragonfly, wasn't I? That bit there, I could just take that bit, but no, it's too heavy, it's not what I want. Okay, I think I might, and I've got these things. I have a real lot of these, actually, and I've had them for a really long time, and I never used them. There's got to be something I can do with that. And I've got some little keys, and these have got um, a tarnished look to them, so I definitely want to put a key on there. But I'll do, I'll put the dragonfly on, I've got to get him the right way. I think that's it, and I'll put him here, maybe, here, there, there, he was sitting there before, wasn't he, okay, that'll do, we'll put him here, now I have to have the bead needle for this, because it's got tiny little holes in here that I'm able to fasten him down with, I don't know, did I make another knot after I chopped that one off, yeah, big, big knot, there's a big knot on there, We do have to put some bits and pieces like this on here because it, it just works for it, doesn't it? And come through there. Always, I think, well, with this sort of thing, they have... I'm going to have to put a bit over his tail here now to keep him straight. He's has got sideways on me. Do this bit of wing first, oh good, got through there okay. Now I know I have a long bit of thread but that's because I wanted to do a bit of beading and I didn't want to have to thread the needle again while he was watching me, because it takes a bit of time doesn't it. And you see what I'm doing because I'm tipping it sideways towards me. It's not very good of me is it? Now I want to put that, fasten that down with the thread. He's on there. He's not flying off anywhere, okay? That's good. Now just make sure this is tidier on the back. Come on. Hope you are all doing a bit of crafting, having a good day. It's good to get a bit of time to do a bit of stuff, isn't it? Well, I'm really lucky with that because I do I used to always have it sitting out on the table in the lounge room and every time I had a few seconds I'd go and work on whatever I was doing when the kids were little or well, still when they were growing up too. Now I have these really nice glass 
um, flowers. I've got this yellow, sort of yellowish looking ones, and I've got the pink ones. I just picked these ones out anyway. And I want to put them on here somewhere. Oh, then I'll go along here. What about this, this this one? And then I can put something in the middle of them. Where's the other one here? And that's not really an. Oh, yes, it is. I was going to say it's not really enough, but it is because that's going to be the seam there. Yeah, there's going to be the seam. And they are really nice. Put them up there, up there, and up in there. Yeah. On the picky part. And point a bit down. I just put them wherever they want to be some, somehow. I just, <laughs> you know. The pink ones. There's all that pink there. These can go a bit further somewhere else on the pattern. And then I have the, the little butterflies. I've got a little menagerie of those here. Right. Uh, I might go with these yellow ones, I think, to start with. I'll put these on here. I need to have a bead for the centre. And I've got a... I've got... Because they'd have to be underneath everything, wouldn't they? I'll get some of these metallic ones out of here. <laughs> Oh yeah, you should be, you might be able to I'll use those, I suppose, with what I'm doing to hold them other ones down as well. Hopefully, we'll have enough. Oh, that didn't go back there, did it? I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know why it doesn't fit. But anyway, right, we have this one on. And on that, we'll put in which one. I'll just sit on this here to see. No, not quite. You can't see him at all, can you? With the green colour one. Or tealy blue. That's nice. Or this gold one. I'll probably get the gold one. Yes, yeah, so well, I'll take the gold one. <laughs> I'll use it. So you go through the flower, through the bead, and back through there again. I've had these flowers for a really long time. They were a tiny bit expensive, and I didn't think I'd ever be able to buy any more, but I suppose I can if I can find some. I, did. I think I bought them in a shop in Orange. It's a town about an hour and a bit from here, so I wouldn't be going back there again in Ari. And um, the shop's gone, I think. I don't know. It was a really, really long time ago. I got them a really long time ago. Probably 14 years or something in here, this one. They look good. Very effective. Nobody's shaking or moving, so that's good. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants shaking and moving. Get back down in there. Do I want another one? I wonder if I can find another one. Now, where were they? <laughs> Ah, oh dear, I don't know. Were they in here? I don't think I had many. I picked out that many because I think that's all I had. I don't know if they were in this one. Whoa! Avalanche. Sorry about this. I might have to put the beads somewhere else because they're behind these things and you can't see what you're doing. You can't see what I'm doing behind the camera. I think they're in here because he's a red one. Is there another? That'd be right, wouldn't it? Just that many of each one, but that's all I needed to start with. I didn't know I was going to need more. Uh, no, oh, pink. Oh, there's a pink one. We're not using the pink, though. Maybe somewhere way way away from me now there is another one of those but it's, I can't see it so I'm afraid we're just going to have to go with that many eh two red ones three red ones 
goodness. You think I'll find one of their mothers? <laughs> I don't know. The boxes are too small, you can't see anything in here. What's that leaf? It's a leaf. I don't use these and I should have done. I've had these for about 35 years or something. Never used them. Haven't found the thing that I want to put them on you, I suppose. You got your back in the box. I have an idea. Hang on. Hang on, I have an idea. No, not in here either. They got them dear little hearts. Oh, there's some goodies in this. Okay. I've messed up these really well and truly today, haven't I? I had a big mess of them. <coughs> Looks like I'm just going to have to leave it at that and put something else there, I suppose. Um, whatever goes along there can be part of that. How about that, eh? We'll do that. Wait a minute, I'll check this and see if I can pull it up too tight. That's right. Okay, now. I have a little Eiffel Tower. It's got a little hole there. Alright. Which way is the top? That way. Where should we put the Eiffel Tower? Here. <laughs> How about there? It might work. Or on that bit, on that space. That might good be good on that space. Yes, I'll put him there. He's only got one hole. We'll be able to, um, I'll show you what I'm doing here now. So I've been playing in you know, over there, pulling it by myself. Sorry about that. It's all twisted. Untwist that. Flat down. Let's put another piece of thread up across here. I'm thinking about trying to put a bit of gold, should have put a bit of gold cotton on this. That's what I should have done. I might have to get out the gold cotton and put over the top of that. Right. Now. I'm running out of thread. <laughs> I'd better not do that. It doesn't sound like fun at all. Where's my leaves I want to put on? All these pink. All these Nice pink ones. I right, put on here, maybe. Even if you just did two. And the red ones would make an, an interesting statement, wouldn't they? They look good. That's very filled with flowers, eh? <laughs> it's a flower one. We're just deciding, okay? We're doing a deciding thing. True. Um. <clears throat> that way it goes. <clears throat> what about the plain one? 
Not really. No. I think I'll put this down here. On that one. That might be nice. What do I do with the key? I haven't put the key down yet, have I? There. Need to do some more sewing on here though. This one's nice, this piece of gold thing. Put something in the middle of there. Put it in a gold flower. Because that's an empty spot, isn't it? Well, that looks good there. I do like that one. I'm going to have that. I think I'll put these about over here. This needs something, doesn't it? Oh, they're too big. Righto, I think I've got the idea now. Well, I'm going to put this one up here first. Where was it that I had it? <laughs> Where did I have this? Here. Yep, I was there. I was. Go through the middle and the back and put that blue bead in there. Then go over the bead and just take back through the flower. Now it's not very tight because it's going to have to be. I'm going to thread it, come back up through here again, go down through the bead again, through the back, pull that down there really tight again doesn't seem to want to do that though does it it's a bit wobbly still I don't think there's anything much you can do about that because it's got a a, a shank thing on the back of it a sort of so it's sitting up a tiny bit high without breaking it just pull the thread really tight without breaking it if you're putting something like that now I've got all them in a row, but it doesn't matter to me. I like it. I do like that. Now, finish that off. This one here is still upsetting me. I need to fix it. What have I done with that other little key? Is that it there? Put the key there. No, I'm not because there's too much going down the same track there. I might um, think about the leaves over here. Right. Yeah, I'm going to put a bead on that gold one. So it'll look okay. <laughs> hey, come on, sit down there. Don't be playing around the fool. Stop playing the fool on me. And then just go back over the top of that, I think. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, it will. Collect your bead. <coughs> go back down through there. I don't know. Now I want to cut I'm to put this down here. Because we do not want it sitting up, do we? It's not gonna work if it's sitting up away. I'll do another one over here, another stitch over here. Right, end that off. I need to make sure that doesn't go too close to the edge because I want to maybe I won't put that one on definitely needs something there 
it shouldn't be in, this, in the seam. <laughs> somewhere else I think. Anyway let's do some beads up here now because I've got to fix this. I do have to fix this. I hope there's the same kind of sort that I've got there. I've got lots of big ones in here but I just need the red one, the small ones. down in there hopefully when I do this it'll look better than it well it might look good anyway but I feel I'm not that happy with it you know like I would be <laughs> for some reason I just well as you know I'm not real partial to red I've got a funny feeling that's what colour me next good is going to be <laughs> I don't know whatever they had left Whatever colour I get, so I never see. Could get green, blue, red, silver. I don't know. It's, we can't be too fussy. The other one is blue. It's beautiful. It is beautiful colour. Anyway, we'll do this. And then we'll put some some yellow around it like we did the other piece there and see what that looks like. So this is up and down chain stitch, isn't it? I think. I think so, no, but no, I don't remember what it's called now. That's terrible, isn't it? Okay. This needs needs something. To me it's Maybe when the yellow goes on, it might be right, so we'll just see. If I get this bit done here, I'll be happy and get the yellow bit on, then I'll do the other bit then. Oh, this is not too bad. We don't want anything domineering the piece, though. We just want something that's, you know, the whole thing. I like to look at the whole thing and see it all, not just one thing jumps out at me. Don't like that at all. One thing just jumps out at me. Now, before I go any further, I want to put the yellow on. I don't know if I could use this. I suppose I could. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to use this. Is this the one I put on there, I wonder? Don't think so. It's not as bright as it should be. I don't know what I've done with that. Here we go. Put some in here. It looks the same as, no, it's not bright at all. It's like I'm going to have to get the big box of thread down, I think. And this one, I might look in this one. It could be in here. Could be in here. Isn't in here. No, it is not. Okay, so I've got a bit of, this, I'm going to keep that out in case I need to put anything else go down but I don't know I'm going to thread that through the needle. That would be fun wouldn't it? Or not? Yellow thread Sonia. Too thick. No, not there. open. Looks like I might have to use 
some of this. Right, because I don't have. <coughs> I do have another box here. Maybe it's not in here though. I don't think it's in the living one. You never know though. I can't see it in there. It's not in there. I must have moved one of them. What have I put the cottons in? Box there and there. Where's the other one? Well, I can't be looking for that just now. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I haven't got time for... Oh, look, there's, a, there's a bit here. It looks... Oh, look at this. Here we go. There's some. Was it connected to anything? It was probably in the needle before. Anyway, we'll use that because that's it. That marvellous how there's only that tiny piece that it come to me. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Thread this up. I'll have to have this finished tomorrow so I can put it together. Right, now the yellow bits are down in the in the middle, aren't they? In between like that. And you can't see them very if you don't make a big enough stitch. Even though it looks like I'm going way up there to do that, it still really disappears down in the thing, doesn't it? Down in the pile. Right down in there. Don't you come unthreaded. I'll be very disappointed in you. Well, that disappeared completely, that one. That's not good. <laughs> oh, dear. Where did you go? There it is, look. Went underneath the, the red bead. Come here. Take him out to put him back through there. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes you have to um, do a bit of breathing. So it's a bit much though. Sorry about this. <laughs> right, now let's see if we can get it without hiding it this time. Get down in there. That's okay. That's better. The bead there was just taking over, wasn't it? Got to move that needle. Keep my hand on it. I'm just doing a straight stitch. Either side of the bead in the yellow, so we can give it a... I was going back and forth, but I'll have to come down here and go back up that way. So now that I've got carried away here. Might be a bit better. Oh. Must be going down through something on no business. And we keep losing these yellow bits. Yellow bits. Look at that, it's disappeared completely both of them mud. <laughs> Get you out of there. Oops, I try not to use the point of the needle and I didn't, wasn't paying attention then because it splits your cotton like you've seen me do. I'll have to see if I can find some more of this yellow cotton in that box over there. So I do have a, some that's not, un, it's not rolled up yet. I put in the box, it's still on the reel. They come up here and make a rear, you think you're going way up there above that but you're not really because it's, and your stitches to be long. So you can see them. That's a bit better. This is not, doesn't, this one's not as far apart as them by the look of it.
right. I don't know if you think that looks any better. It wouldn't be too much of the same thing in the one square, I don't know. And I'll add something else to it and just take away from it. So it's not so... Oh, God, you know what I mean. I'm going to try and see if I can blend it in. Sorry if I'm not speaking much. I'm it's the quietest I'd be when I'm doing this. <laughs> or maybe it could be when I'm asleep. I don't know. If I'm quietly when I'm sleeping. Very nice. I might take this bit of air out. I'm going to take that bit out. It's just too much there. I don't have my good little scissors either. I suppose I use these as much as I say, because they're still filling. I said, I asked Jeremy about getting the, moving the little table, pick them up, but he said he'd do that later. He was busy. And that's okay, I suppose. You know, didn't think I needed them, but I, I'll be right. I'll be okay. I can handle it. I don't need to. I hope that's not connected to anything. Fluffy now. Yes. I don't know. So I was thinking about putting that leaf up there. Or oh, maybe this one. Right. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. I think that was just too I did over did overdo it I think with that other. Um, but I need something in that space. So what have we got in ribbon? You know, only three lots of ribbon embroidery. So I might be able to do a bit of something there. I'll put these on, on here. No. Do some sewing. <laughs> that went wrong. Sorry about this. I'll get the ribbon out of here in a minute. <clears throat> what colour do I need? I wonder, I had a white one here somewhere. Creamy colour was on it yesterday. I used a bit of it on something. What do I do with the rest of it? Uh, I did iron it. Didn't I put it in the straightener and straightened it? I don't think I squeaked the chair all morning, did I? <laughs> I've got that one there. Let me put that on. Because I wanted it something light but effective. I want it to be interesting. This is just goes on forever. Oh, hang on, here we are. Right at the end. But I want the pink colours. I think I want to go with a bit pinker pieces. There. Okay, so I've got that. And there's a knot at this bit. So that's good. It's already got a knot in it. <laughs> I don't know. Back in there. That's a bit long. I would not usually do that. I don't think I will either. I'm going to make undo the knot. 
think that's long enough. I do two two lots, I suppose. I can have this needle because it'll work really good. Maybe it's too too much of that one. I don't know. It'll be nice. What about the blue? What about some blue on there? I'll do this one. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll do a um, spider rose or something. I could do a spider rose, couldn't I? That would work. Now I'll have a knot again. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't play the fool with me. Get in my own road, I do. Get in my own road. Oh no, now I need another, need another thing, and that's not the right thing. I'm not going to unpull that because I'm going to use it. I just want a needle that I can put the crikey, They're like um. Bars, then ones. A bit of this is the same colour. It's starting to get a bit untidy here on the desk, but I guess if, as long as it's on the desk and not the floor, I don't care because I can clean it down myself real easy. Just got to have the time and the patience to do that because I'm busy now. I've got lots of things I'm doing at one time. <laughs> And I like it though, it keeps me occupied, keeps me out of mischief. I think this is what I want to do, don't I? If I need to do a tiny, sort of smallish one down here, but I'm doing all these threes and threes all over the place, and I just do one so now, in, the, in a different place because you always have to do this and cut off the knot, don't you? So, how I do it. <laughs> if I do that and then put a, um, a nice um, leaf or two around it, I think that might went out too far. I don't know. It hasn't. I know I'm going to do some buds. That's what I want to do. Some buds on it as well. Like I did the purple one, but different sort of. <laughs> so, something like that. Something like the purple one. Like the mauve colour one, I should say. Okay, so now we're going up in here. I do five little oaks. It's hard to get through. But I'm only going to have to do it one time because you're going to go over there, under there. I'm going to get rid of that. It's annoying me. Over the next one, under the next one. Over, under. Actually won a prize one time for my ribbon embroidery out at another town that one of my cousins took it and put it in the show for me. I was looking at somebody was looking at the other day, other daughter when she was my eldest daughter and she was here. I forgot even about that. It's really strange, but I did, I forgot all about it. I really would have liked it that size, but we're going to have to keep going because we've got stem deer things. It's sticking out, so we've got to go over them, don't we? Isn't that jazzy? Doesn't it look good? Don't you reckon? Still pulling it in too tight now. Come on. Don't do that. I'm making it too tight. I haven't made it. I 
You need the outside bit to be a tiny bit bigger, don't you? And look at under this one, wherever it is. Come over here, you. Okay. So I've just got lighter on the outside of it. I suppose it's all right. I don't think, don't think I'm a big fan of it though. I don't like that. I like the orange better. I'm going to back it up because I want to. I think I might try and fix that. Don't pull it so tight, and then it'll spread out a bit more, and I'll be able to get more of the apricotish colour, not the light bit on the outside. I know the flower would have that, um, but not my flower. <laughs> Not this flower. But if you take it back carefully and just go through the back, of, go through underneath with your needle, and you won't stick the front of it in anything. And pull the thread, pull it too far. I right, don't now. Let's take it back a bit. Make it not so tight. I right, don't. Oh. Nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it though because it's still not good enough. It's light enough, really. Have I? Let it twist and turn, you know, a bit so it'll sit good. Uh, I'm just going to have to live with whatever it turns out like, aren't I? I might be able to get away with that. I do think so. Come on, hold on to everything. Don't pull, don't let anything go on you pulling these through. Just make sure you hang on to everything. <laughs> might sound a bit much, but you do. You have to hold on to it all so it doesn't get away from you. I right know. Now you can see those bits there. I'm not going to worry about that, I don't think, because they're the same colour as the thing. They're the same colour as the ribbon. Stop all this manoeuvrance on you'll end up wrecking it. Ah oh dear. Looks a bit sideways now. You're gonna have to let it take over because it's not gonna work for you what you're trying to do. You're gonna have to just do it let it go where it wants to go and keep going with it, I think. So that should have went over there, shouldn't it? Chances of me getting it back through here, what are they like, I wonder? Sometimes you can do it with a bead needle real easy. Go back through the same place that it come out. Anyway, I can just cut the knot off and re-thread it. I'm having a little bit of a battle with this. It's not sort of playing nice, is it? Through there. Put the bit of the needle through there. I guess I'm just going to have to have that other. I might twist this a bit before I go around it here. Over. Is it going over? Yeah, and this one goes under. Here we go. That's a bit more interesting, isn't it? Because I was noticing it was twisting a fair bit before that. And it won't look so... Under this one. Flat is the word we're looking for, isn't it? And we say flat. And over that one, twist it a bit, Sonia. <laughs> okay. It's not working. I'm going to just push that down through the back of there now. Hang on to it. 
so it's nice enough, isn't it? I think that looks good. I just worry about these sticky out bits. Maybe I just made that too big compared to how I wanted my rose. I don't think it looks too bad though, if you can see them properly. I'm sorry if you couldn't see what I was doing. I got into a bit of a kerfuffle there. Okay, so I will put a knot in this. Oh dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've still got a couple of minutes I could probably do. I think I don't know how long I put that on for. I'll just really quickly put a, a couple of um, leaf, leaf bits in here. Come up through there. Now I've, I've come across the top of that piece there so I can cover it over. Right, and then I'll come up again through there somewhere. Hopefully not through the work. Check the back. Okay, and then go down here or well, this way a bit. I'll do it this way. Okay. Now I do hope that I have more of this green because I want to put some more little leaves on the, around this and that's going to come back through this way if I can do it with the needle, yeah this is going to make it if it wasn't I'd have to unthread the needle to do it with and I've showed you how to do that before okay, got that bit there so that's fastened to the rose you can see, and I'm going to put another lot up the top there when I find the rest of this ribbon, which I probably haven't got any more because it looks like it's come off the end of the reel. But I will find some, don't you worry. And then I'll put it up in that bit. I might just take that for a tiny bit more, just like that. Okay. You can even tuck it in under the rose a tiny bit because that'll help make him look like he's supposed to be there, sort of thing. There we go. Actually, I'm not going to tuck, oh, I'll tuck him on. <laughs> Looks good. I do like that thing there a lot better now that it's got something on it to to take away from it being so all red and whatever. Okay, so there I've done a bit more. That, that I really like that flower. That turned out really good. So I might be having to put another couple down around here or over somewhere else on here. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Bye-bye.